Hi y'all, this is Pam again with Mason Lance Designs and we're back for another Zoom Notes tutorial. And today we're going to talk about probably one of the top favorite features of Zoom Notes is the uh, Symbols tool. And this is that little smiley face you see over here to the left. And when you click on it, it's like a built-in sticker book, if you will. Not built-in because, I mean, you have to add it. Because these cute little emojis, okay, come with zoom notes and then these right here whoops come with zoom notes and I just I put them in folders to kind of clean up the area so that I can add you know the ones I wanted and so um, in order to make a folder you just you know hold one until it's yellow and then drag it over another one and it'll create it'll create a folder and that's how I put all of these because all of these two folders right here, um, all of these were just, you know, on here. And so I gathered them together and put them in a folder so that I can make other folders myself. And you could also make folders within folders because this is my icons folder. And then when you come in here, I have a folder of the um, social media icons. <clears throat> and then the weather icons. Um, that we'll come back to in just a minute. Okay, so down here at the bottom, we have the plus sign, and I just duplicated a symbol that I didn't want to do. And so I can click edit and click that and delete symbol. It's that easy to delete. So let me tap off the symbols. <laughs> Anyway, because when the symbol is tapped on, you don't have to drag it off. Like, when you're on this, you don't drag it off to put it on the screen. Once you click on it, you close it, and then you click it. And that has taken me a really long time to remember. I've had to undo some of my um, folders and, and redo because I kept dragging them like we're used to. And not just, a, you know, you touch, it to to, you touch it to close it, and then you touch it to use the sticker. And so I have um, gotten better with it, but still not 100% at remembering. <clears throat> so, see? <laughs> so I come over here to the lasso tool at the top, and I click on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click on this Never Forget sticker. Come over here and click the smiley. And then down here, I click the plus button. And it's that easy to put a sticker in or a symbol in. And then you can drag it to whatever folder you have. See, I already have all three of mine. Um, the patriotic symbols right here, already in here. So, it's pretty easy to use. And then, of course, um, I, I'm still clicked on the smiley face. So, when I click on the planner page, I'll end up putting another sticker. And you can do that as many times as you want to. And it's just as easy to come up here and touch the garbage can. Now, this is something... I still do from time to time and forget. Okay, I've clicked the garbage can to get rid of it, but I want to come over here and like with the lasso tool and I end up putting another sticker. So I have to remember to come up here and click the lasso tool and then click another sticker to click the garbage can to get rid of them. So it's a little different than what we're used to in uh, Zoom Notes and I'm sure other apps, but it's worth the learning because I mean, I like having the stickers that I would reuse right here. And something that I found out recently, anything that you can lasso and move around, you can make a symbol. So, sorry about that. So when I created this for some of my, <laughs> see, I'm still learning some of my charts. I didn't have the lasso tool anyway when I created this for some of my charts you know I'm like I need to save that and it's better than it's quicker than saving it in an outside sticker book I just save it right here in my symbols tool um, and then I can use it you know every week or however often I want to use it now you see these two weather um, sections right here and you can import stickers 
um, in two different ways. You can do them like I did here one at a time and you can just tap and you know drag off one at a time to get your stickers or you can lasso um, let's do that here I can always go back and delete it we're just gonna put these stickers by each other I'm gonna lasso all of them so they're selected click on the sticker button and click this plus sign and it brings it in like a sticker sheet and so when I sorry when I decide to use it I can click and it's going to give me the sticker sheet and so you still have the ability to come and separate them they're not like one piece or where you have to you know copy and paste them again you have the ability you know to separate them and so that would be good for um, maybe like and see I didn't do this up here because I didn't know about it then but like the days of the week you can put all those in, you know, as one piece, and that way you can, you know, take them out all at the same time. However, for me, I like to do two to three colors a week, and, you know, there's different colors for different days of the week names. And so for me, I don't think I'll probably use it like that because I just take a couple of names out per week anyway. But, I mean, that's an option if there's other things, you know. You might want to like the uh, weather stickers um, that I did. If you wanted to, you know, take all of those out for a week and then just drag off of them, you know, the ones you want and then delete the rest. That would be maybe a quicker way to um, set up, you know, your weather stickers. I mean, it's really all on how, you know, you want to do it. So the edit and when you click, that's when you delete or you can export. And I've not done that yet. And then this is to create a symbol pack. And I've not even touched that one yet. I'm sorry about that. And so this is the symbol tool. And some people want to bring in a lot of stickers, and, and that's fine if you want to. Um, I just don't know that I would want to scroll through a whole lot of stickers like that. So I'm trying to keep it to maybe themed things that I know that I will come back to. And um, also, if you just click right there, right on the, um, right under there where the words are, under the little folder, then you can just name whatever you want to. And then when you come in here, and you can do the same thing. So you can folder within a folder and you can name each and every one. You can even, sorry, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. You can even change each sticker if you wanted it to have a certain name to put them in a certain order. So. The sky's the limit on how, how many stickers you want to put in here and um, how you want to organize them. So I think that's it for the symbol tool. Um, I'm going to take and delete all of this. I even have some other stickers up here. Okay, and real quickly we're going to look at the fill tool, which is over here to the side. And I'm adding it to um, the stickers one because it, it really doesn't have a whole lot um, of options and a whole lot to talk about. So let's scroll in. And we'll just use this color that it's on. And then when you tap off of it and it fills a certain area. Now, <clears throat> it's because I have the graph paper that it's doing this, but when I um, did my... PCN page I'm sorry when I did the PCN page okay where this cleaning box is it didn't have it was completely white and so I just filled it in you know with a color so it doesn't always just fill in box by box it just depends on you know the size of what you're filling in um, let me go back to where I was and so that's the fill tool. There's not a whole lot to it. You can fill a section. Um, there's the opacity. And then basically you pick the color. And that's pretty much it. So we can make that lighter, a different color. So you can fill in any shape. Let me see if I can come up here to the shape tool and draw us a, 
Okay, I'm not sure if this is the best idea because I still haven't gotten used to these tool feature. Thought there was a way I can move it. Anyway, I should be able to come in here and I, oh, I'm sorry. See, it won't fill it because um, it's seeing the boxes, the graph paper underneath it. So it won't fill this shape on a grid paper, but on a blank paper and possibly the light dot paper. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I have not messed with that yet. Um, it will fill in whatever shape that you have. Okay, so that's um, the fill-in area, and we'll be back for more videos. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Bye.